Hello and welcome back to the video store, video stop in Somerville. If you're close to us, come see us. It's right on the highway. 17775 Highway 64, Somerville, Tennessee. Anyway, so it's been a few days since I did a video. I don't think I'm going to do them every day again. It gets me kind of burnt out. But my foot's a lot, lot better, so I don't think I'll be skipping as long a time as I did last time. I uh, haven't done much since my last video. I rewatched um, Unhinged. Still dig it. Still think it's a, a lot better film than it could have been. Probably should have been, actually. Um, I'm glad they went with uh, the casting of Russell Crowe, even though he looked about eight and a half months pregnant in it. Uh, just his menace in the movie is really awesome, so... I don't know. I dig it. I know some people didn't, but I kind of went in expecting generic, you know, kind of rip off of the hitcher, but he's got his own ride kind of movie. <clears throat> so it surprised me. I liked it. And on the second watch, it held up. I liked it a lot. But the movie I'm going to talk about today is the 2020 movie Arkansas. And it's got Vince Vaughn in it. And it's got the Hemsworth that's not Thor. I think it's Chris Hemsworth. Anyway, the brother that's not Thor is in this one. Vivica A. Fox is in this. And John Malkovich is in this. And it's kind of a laid-back, redneck, Scorsese movie, kind of. Except for it don't have the frantic nature that Scorsese movies usually do. And I actually enjoyed this one better than most Scorsese. I'm not the biggest fan of Scorsese. Uh, a lot of the times Scorsese comes off as a lot of style over substance, kind of. I don't know. It's more of a mood than a story I get from, like, Taxi Driver and and Raging Bull and such, but I don't know. I don't like Leota and Goodfellas. I like Joe Pesci and Goodfellas and Casino, but I don't know. I wouldn't say either of those films are... Or what people make them out to be. Anyway, this isn't directed by Scorsese. I'm just saying. If Scorsese was a laid back redneck. He might make Arkansas. Because it's just got this real chill vibe. I mean we're dealing with drug dealers. Who event who occasionally have to kill people. But even then they're like. Even when they're on the chopping block. In certain scenes. It's kind of this cool laid back. You know. This is the business I'm in. This is the way it goes kind of thing. And I just really dug that about the movie. I mean, it, it really, I mean, living in Tennessee, having family in Arkansas, visiting Arkansas quite a lot, it felt like they got the South right, kind of, you know, where everybody's just kind of like, you know, you got to do what you got to do kind of thing. I don't know. I just really dug that. Like it, it didn't just, I don't know, it didn't just throw a, a hodgepodge of actors into a southern setting and then had them, you know, play New Yorkers or whatever and gangster, you know. Uh, they just really seem like southern people. Vince Vaughn's character was great. Um, Malkovich nailed it. You know, Malkovich, he's one of those, he could be way crazy or he could be way good or he could be both. He could be crazy good. And this one, he was right down the middle, played it, played his part perfectly. He was just a southern, like, ranger, you know, and he had the accent down. I mean, he, he was just, he was great in it. Um, not a big fan of that Hemsworth, not even a big fan of the Thor one, really. But, I, you know, I think the Thor guy, he's got comedy down a lot, so I do enjoy him in, like, Ghostbusters and the... And the Avengers movies and such, but uh, but the Hemsworth in this for the part he's playing, he, he played it great. And um, his partner, I can't think of his name right now, but it's the it's the little chubby kid from the uh, Hot Tub Time Machine Two. He plays uh, Hemsworth's partner in crime, and and he was really good in this, and and almost un, un um, recognizable. He seemed a little skinnier, and his hair was long. And he ends up getting, like, the hot chick in the movie like the Hemsworth didn't. And that happens really early on, so I'm not spooling nothing. Like, he starts dating this hot nurse and such. I don't know, it was just... Uh, it was a really unexpected movie, like... 
And it kind of had a Tarantino element to it where you weren't really sure what was going on until, you know, it would kind of show you something and then show you what leads up to it. Almost like Memento, but not as confusing. Um, so I just dug the way they did that where since it's so laid back and almost realistic in the way people are in it and, and how they're doing business, they almost knew that would kind of be real boring given the laid back mood. So they, they made it interesting by, by doing the story that way. And I, I dug that. Um, my friend Job's said it was missing something and I'd have to agree with her. It is missing something. I don't know what. I don't know what I would add to it. Um, but yeah, it does seem like it does seem like it does need a, a little extra something, but maybe Tom Hardy. Throw him in anything and improves it, right? But anyway, I don't know. But as far as this movie goes, it's kind of like it was like with Guns Akimbo. I went into this movie you know, I had it for months before I even watched it, so I didn't watch it till I took it to my dad's because I figured, what, you know, whatever it was, it, it would be a story me and him both might like if we liked it. And so I went in with way low expectations because uh, somebody told me it was boring but realistic, and so, and that's the best thing that you can really do for a movie like this is 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 get the expectations low. Not saying it's a bad movie, but. When you see Vince Vaughn and John Malkovich, you might be like, ooh, this is going to be great. And I'm not saying it's not great, but it's not going to be like heat or something. That's just shootouts and all this. So going in with the low, low expectations, it, it really became, you know, way better than, than I thought it would be. And I enjoyed it a lot better than I thought I would. Um... Even though, yeah, I guess you could, I wouldn't call it boring. It is, like I said, laid back and low key. But everything everybody's doing, I was interested in. And I, I wanted to see where it was going. You know, bad things happen. Wanted to see what the outcome of that would be. Um, I mean, it's just, it like I said, it's got the laid back, laid back feeling and mood and atmosphere. But the story itself, it kept me engrossed in it i dug it you know I, there wasn't a point in time where i was like oh, i don't care i'll just turn it off i wanted to see how it turned out i wanted to see uh who made it and who didn't and if the people i was rooting for made it or didn't and um and even though i agree with my friend that it it is missing something like i said i don't know what and i wouldn't change the ending I love how the movie wrapped up. So yeah, I mean, I I definitely recommend it. But like I said, don't go into it expecting like crazy violent drug dealing and stuff. Go in expecting, you know, just kind of these regular Joes, laid back Southerners, if they got into the drug game and had to do bad things that they might not necessarily want to do but that's the business you know um yeah so kind of like a redneck godfather uh wouldn't say anybody was de niro or pacino i mean not de niro um wouldn't say anybody was um shit why can't i think of his name marlon brando i wouldn't say there's a brando or a pacino in this really but I'd say, I'd say watch it for Vince Vaughn, definitely. I don't think he's ever given a bad performance. But anyway, yeah, I recommend it. I'm going to give this one four stars out of five. Just because I don't think it was a perfect movie. Definitely could have had something else. But for what it is, it's really good. I really recommend it. And uh, I'm glad I saw it. I'm glad I own it. I I bought it without seeing it because here at the video store, uh, when we get a combo pack, sometimes the owner keeps the DVD, sells me the Blu-ray, and I only have to pay, you know, half the price because it was a combo pack. So I get stuff I might not otherwise get, but I'm glad I got this one because 
I know one day I'm going to want to sit there and watch it again and knowing what happens, follow it and see how everything set up this and that. So, so yeah, if I'm going to watch it a second time, you ought to know that it's, you know, definitely worth giving a look. So anywho, that is my movie review for today. Arkansas 2020 movie. That's not the title. It came out this year, 2020. The worst year I've ever seen in my lifetime. But anyway, I'm going to get back to doing video stove business. Just thought I'd stop in, drop a review, and say hello to you people. Uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and share. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.